I'll tell you what he used to say. Now his clients through the floor would slope. Ah, oh, that's enough of the course for now. Anyway, so that's the course, those things. That comes back every time. But I should preface the song with telling you that this barber, he killed his clients. And he evidently had a special barber chair that when, after he slit the guy's throats, he pushed the lever and the chair went like this. And there was a trap door on the floor. And, and it, 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 I said this for Halloween. How convenient. Yeah, I mean, just, just think about that the next time you're getting a shave at the barber shop. Which... Clearly, I have been scared by this song and I haven't done it for a long time. <laughs> anyway, now on Fleet Street, that's in London town, when old Prince Charlie wore the crown, there lived a man of great renown, old Sweeney Todd the barber. One shave from him and you'd want no more. You'd, you, you'd feel his razor sharp bang, walk up and tumble on the floor and wake up playing a harp, 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 and singing. Sweeney Todd the barber, by God he was better, better than the plague. Sweeney Todd the barber, I'll polish him off, he used to say. Now his clients through the floor would slope, but he had no fear of the hangman's rope. Dead men can't talk with their mouths full of soap, said Sweeney Todd the barber. Now, it was, uh, let's see, it must be that it was a Saturday night in Old Sweeney's shop, and the customer, it seems to me I'm doing the wrong verse. Anyway, <laughs> well, it'll be the last verse, what the heck. Now, now it, was a Saturday, uh, it was a Saturday morning in Old Sweeney's shop, and the customers were coming in in droves. And uh, they were get going down by twos and threes, practically, and old Sweeney's foot was getting sore from pressing the lever on the floor. Well, first, oh, I know what it is. Oh, God. It's, it's about, uh, uh, uh. Now, underneath his, this is the first before that line. Now, underneath his shop, it's true, where the bodies tumbled through, there lived a little old widow who just loved Sweeney Todd the Barber. She made her living by selling meat pies. And of such size they were, and just chock full of meat, because she got her meat from Sweeney Todd the Barber. By God, he was better than the plague. Sweeney Todd the Barber. I'll polish him off, he used to say. Now his clients through the foot. Now as many a poor young orphan lad got the first good meal that he ever had. Was a big meat pie made out of his dad oh. by Sweeney Todd the Barber. Now it was a Saturday in Old Sweeney's shop, and, and and though none were aware, it was cut prices there. Uh, <laughs> the customers were going down by twos and threes, and Old Sweeney's poor foot was getting sore from pressing that lever on the floor. Well, the first one to come in was a swill, which I think is kind of a fat one, you might say. Said he, "Oh, my dear man, if you will, just to." Perfume, shave, and haircut, because I've just got engaged. Ah, said Sweeney as he pushed his leather to the floor. Now that's all falling through. Next to come in was a bookie. A bookie, says he, with his mouth practically full of soap. Doggone it. My customers have all been betting favorites. I bet I'll go down. And you will, said Sweeney as he pushed his leather to the floor. But what rotten luck! For the lever went and stuck, for the hinge he'd forgotten to grease. And way over on the other side of the shop, somebody started shouting, Police! 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 But you know what? No police came. And why not? They didn't have police back then. <laughs> but up came the bold street runners. Hurrah! 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 And, it, and, it, and it's many a meat pie that had to be let burn that night as they carried old Sweeney off to the quad, the jail, in chains. Well, they say he was sentenced to be switched off at his home the very next morning, which did happen. And they say that an old crow built his nest in Sweeney Todd's whiskers, and that crow sings as he swings to and fro. Sweeney Todd the barber, by God, he was better than the plague. Sweeney Todd. Polish him up, he used to say. Now it's old Nick.
calls him from the grave. Sing, wake up, Sweeney, I needs a shave. And Mrs. Nick needs a permanent wave from Sweeney Todd the Barber.